everybody. Hello artists, everybody else, welcome. Um, if you hear a furnace turn on or a storm outside, it's real life. It's what's going on right now. I'm so glad you're here with me because I'm kind of overwhelmed at this. This is all of my art supplies and I will have extra footage so you can see just how large this collection is. And I've got everything that you can possibly imagine. Acrylics, oils, color pencils, markers, ink. And I'm doing everything via the Komari method. And so I kind of save the art supplies for last because you save your sentimental items for last. We'll see how it goes. Um, if it's going to be a really long drawn out process, I may have a separate video for the art supplies that I have the most. We're just going to see how it goes from here. I'm going to start actually sorting them out into categories. I just I brought everything down here into the garage where I film. And uh, yes, this is my my filming area that you all know so um, thank you for joining me today if you feel the need to go ahead and subscribe hit that subscribe button turn on the notifications from here on out I am just going to play it by ear and we'll see what happens okay I'm probably gonna start with some of the most easiest things to go through first which will be pencils and paper you go from there that's the great thing about the Kamari method is that you start out at your own pace and things that you find a little bit easier to part with and it's not so much the focus on parting with those items, it's um, it's making sure that you know what sparks joy in your life. So, wish me luck. <laughs> it's kind of a, like I said, it's kind of a sleepy Saturday and I really have been kind of procrastinating this. Windsor and Newton pigment marker. Have any of you used this before? It, it comes with, it doesn't come with you, you have to buy it separately, but the this particular paper goes with this particular marker and it performs the best with this marker. And I have a set of these markers and I actually got them on clearance on Hobby Lobby kind of individually. And I gotta say they were kind of a streaky mess. And I think the idea behind this was very, very innovative. And it was a wonderful idea. I I just don't know if I see myself using this long term. I think it was more of a novel sort of art supply. So I might set this aside and give it away. I don't really know just yet. But thankfully I got all this at a reduced price. Stonehenge. Thought I would like it. It's okay. It accepts pretty much any kind of media. And it's really expensive. So I don't think I'm going to keep it though. I think I'm going to give away. So. I just shattered a picture frame. Click sketch. Love this paper. I don't know what it is about it, and it's always at a good price. Just if you can get these on a sale, stock up on them because you will have so much fun with them. I say stock up on them, and, and yet I am doing a declutter, so I don't know. I might be very contradicting right myself right now, so who cares? I'm human. Just let me let me do my thing. Um, I did get into comic book illustration for a while, so I have extra paper for that. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this one in a giveaway. Um, some of these artworks I do think I'm going to either keep or go ahead and give them to my friend Ray, who also loves comics. Check it out. We're going to the gun show. Not bad. Not bad. So, we're going to get a different angle going here. Just to spice things up. You see this? This is all my doing. <laughs> I'm just trying to kind of get this stuff out of the way and out of these big boxes and piles and everything kind of just sorting and everything. This is where we start to get down to the nitty gritty and uh, hmm, pray for me or do whatever, or send a good blessing, a good spell of prosperity and clarity in my brain. <laughs> so I'm going to put these into a giveaway as well. If you missed the Light Fast Color Pencil Test, uh, they actually, I cannot remember how they performed. I'm such a terrible YouTuber right now. Uh, but I do not use these. That's the main thing. They do not spark joy with me, but maybe they will spark joy into your heart. So 60 color pencils, you can't beat it. Good for coloring for all of you colorists out there. Is that what they call people who do color coloring um, pages? Do they call people who, is that is that what they're addressed as? Is like, you know, if you do your coloring book pages all the time, is it addressed as a colorist? I'm not really sure. Please inform me in the comments below. I look very pale today. 
like extra pale. <laughs> the wider shade of pale, okay. Good to go, Jane. All right, let's get this, some of this crap out of, out of the way here so you can see what's kind of going on and see what's in here. Oh boy, okay, I'm gonna have to move stuff. Okay, I just wanna make sure I wasn't buried under art supplies and you couldn't see me. Some of the boxes for the Dr. P.H. Martin's liquid watercolors and the inks. Um, chances are I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lead you on. Uh, those are not gonna be given in a giveaway if I decide to part with them, so. I paid way too much for them. <laughs> Plus, um, also, if you think about it, shipping ink is not fun. Not like that, at least, in these little vials. I do love the way that they're packaged, though. They're so cute. Oh boy, this is gonna be, I believe, more than today, that's for sure. There's gonna be, it's definitely gonna be a multiple day project. So, fine liners, Let's see what's in here. What was that? More paintbrushes, more paintbrushes. Oh, there's more in here. More paintbrushes. Oh boy, okay. Oh, these are the Pilot Eno sketch pens. Gonna keep those. I did, I did a video on them and uh, I do a specific sketching glow technique with them. I also do another technique as well. So watch that video. It is gonna be up in the corner in a card. What do we got here? Ooh. This is the glass dip pen. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or not. I haven't used it that much. I probably won't. Very beautiful to look at though, very novel. Some Flow Aid Liquitex. I've got a whole Rascog cart from Ikea full of Liquitex stuff. What? Okay, so basically these are going onto this cart right here, which is nothing but the acrylics, which I'll sort through later. <laughs> And this is, um, I believe that this is going to be the kind of project that's going to be like a, an onion, <laughs> basically. Uh, some people, their onion is clothes. Some people, their onion is shoes. Some people, their onion is everything. Mine's art supplies, but don't you just love this? It's just lovely things. I love the texture. I just love the color. Whenever I first saw it, I fell in love with it, and I said, I had to have this. So uh, at first, Michaels wanted $20, and I said, oh, hell no. So I waited until it was on clearance and got it, I think, for like $7. I also bought these incredibly cute, um, they're little notepads, and I have a habit of collecting those as well, but these I'm gonna keep, I got these at, it wasn't the Dollar Tree, let me, hold on, let me think here for a second. Here today, I got them here today. They were all together $1, so that was the score. It's my old glasses. Oh yeah, hipster Jane. Another case full of pencils and mermaid markers and ink. See, this is why I'm doing this because I don't know everything that I have. <laughs> so <laughs> I do, kind of, but I'm still uncovering things that I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that. This is all, I know this is all acrylic inks and there's some liquid watercolor in here that I'm going to donate. I don't use it anymore, but we'll get to that when we get to it. I think it would be good to build a box of utilities, just, you know, erasers and pencil sharpeners, things like that. Colored water-soluble graphite. Who would have thought? I mean, I like actual water-soluble graphite, lots of fun. Really, guys? Come on. Knock it off. So it's kind of like drawing and kind of like painting, too. This is the maybe. I don't, I'm not really feeling it, though. It was one of those art supplies that I was really intrigued by. And then I just sort of got disenchanted with it. Oh, I just found more paper. 
And then Mart Monta. I think I'm slightly dyslexic. The Mont Mar yeah, Mont Marta. This is the Mont Marta. Essential colors. I've got one of the 24 and one of the 36. I'll most likely put this one in a giveaway. I did do a video on this. I love these. They're, they're fantastic and they're only like seven dollars. They have a sentimental value to me though. They were the first cheap pencil that I found that really performed well. That I was very surprised by. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to put them over with the rest of the colored pencils. And I'm kind of separating these into categories. We're going to go with a different camera angle now. So I have um, the Derwent XL Graphite. I had most wonderful intentions to use it on bigger pieces. I will probably try to sell this or I may give it in a giveaway. When I say I may give it in a giveaway at the end of all of this, uh, I won't announce exactly what's being given away and what's going to be in the giveaway so and how you can win. So the case of pigment markers I was talking to you about earlier with the Windsor & Newton pigment marker paper. Quite a few in there. I got them on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I don't know. I just... I don't know how to feel about them, <laughs> to be honest. Tell me in the comments below if you've had any good experience with these. These are some really old vintage. They were layout markers. Really, really kind of cool looking. Yeah. I have not touched them. I wish they still made these though. Those are awesome. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't believe I'll keep them. Lou Fedorsky, if you want your markers, I have them. They came in this wonderful case. Isn't that great? They must have been expensive back in the day. More colored pencils that I'll be probably putting in the giveaway. The Pelican colored pencils. Uh, I do believe that I gave them away as well. Um, there is another video on those, my review of those. Very, very nice. And some more of the essential colors by Montmartre, like I said before. I might feel like I'm miles away from you, but this has got to be done. Oh, such a sleepy Saturday. <laughs> I know the sun's out now. This is tiring. <laughs> Ecoline brush pens. Did a review on those, bought all of them. And here's the thing, that uh, I'm learning the art of holding back and not buying everything until I really know if I'll use everything, like all the colors and stuff. I just, I, I have a love of the rainbow and when I see something that I love and I fall in love with that art supply, I just, I'm like, I want all the colors. And if I have the means and I'm, I end up with them. I'm not going to say I feel guilty for doing that. It's just something that I've noticed that I do that maybe I, I should work on as far as, you know, you don't want to just keep items just because. That's another thing that you learn to do in this method. Seriously. Ooh, they're so pretty whenever they're all in front of you in the spectrum. Pencil cases, extra pencil cases. Gonna hang on to them until I completely declutter the pencil cases. Until I completely declutter the colored pencils, not the colored pencil cases. I'm already losing my brain. I need some caffeine. It's a little bit uh, about that about that time, and 2.30, 3 o'clock, when everything starts to kind of plummet. These, oh, the wonderful ink tents, yes. Love these. I need to use them more. Do you put them with pencils or ink? It's always been my confusion. My first watercolor palette ever. Palette. Wow, it is looking rough. <laughs> Still usable though. It's the White Knights. White Knights watercolor. The Gonzai Tabby Starry colors. And then there's the iridescent ones, the Bokuwandu. Uh, very pretty. You can't even really see how iridescent they are, but maybe I can do some layovers. 
Ah, these are awesome. These are by the Creative Mark Company, and they are, what are they called? Pastel smoothies. And so one of them is softer. One set is softer. The other is a little bit more harder bristles, and they blend the pastels, especially the pan pastels, kind of in the manner that I want them to. I like to blend my pastels with a brush sometimes, and these are fantastic for that. So you can find them on Jerry's Arama. I'm not making any super executive decisions yet. As you can see, I'm still in the sorting process. Life is not always necessarily um, planned. It, it goes by the seat of your pants, especially whenever it comes to decluttering. 